Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little fairy garden. And actually what we did was I per first put down a piece of cloth the size of the garden area that I'd like. That's the gravel area. And it was a white fabric that drained, you know, drained through. It was almost like a landscaping fabric. And then I purchased some river rock. And that was one bag of river rock. And I sprinkled that right on top of the, the um, landscape fabric. And then I placed, just simply placed the little fairy pieces that were from the dollar store. And this is about, I wanna say, it's about two months old here. And I purchased all the different kinds, the little fairies and the bridges. There's a cute little clothesline. Here's a little gazebo. And then just to balance it off, I had some of these little gingerbread houses that the kids had made as a group project. And so I placed those out here as well. So that made actually the fairy house. And it just so happened that the scale of all the little pieces, here's the little rocking horse and a chair. It just so happened that all of this was in scale with the house, so it looks adorable. What I do foresee is that the paint on the little pieces from the dollar store are gonna fade. I did purchase some of these tin or metal pieces here, and I did spray them with two coats of clear, um, clear spray paint, matte clear. They do, they are fading a bit though, despite spraying with that. So I, my plan is, is once they are faded, some of them are really faded, like the blue and the red. Once they are fading a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and spray them with just some more spray paint. Here's one, here's a blue one here that didn't fade. I'm, I'm guessing it is the way the sun is hitting these that's just causing them to fade. But they're, they're not rusting, so that's great. Just the colors fading a bit. So I'll just hit them with some other spray paint, um, maybe midsummer, and spring them up, cover, make them color, more colorful for the summer. My little green frogs, they haven't faded at all. So they're doing really well. So this is the fairy garden. I just wanted to show you how I did it. And it was very inexpensive. And the rocks are just a temporary placement. They're gonna be um, given to a teacher, um, but I had them out today for on display, so I figured I'd make the video as well. Um, I do have a video on how I made these rocks. This is a group project, um, grade level project. One rock, one large stone is for every grade level, and the kids paint on it with some uh, glow-in-the-dark paints. So right now they're just out charging, so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you. Here's some close-ups of the little fairies here. And I've had this set up probably, I want to say, over two months. And we haven't had any missing little fairies. Here's the little fairy I'll show you on the table here, right there. And some of the classes have planted flowers around the garden. Here. All the colorful flowers came from a kindergarten class. And then these beautiful, and I call them mother of a thousands. They came from a third through fifth grade class of uh, special ed kids. And they are doing amazing. They planted it when they were about two inches tall. And I wanna say they're about six inches tall now. And this is a zone nine garden.
And in the back, I do have a lime tree right there, which is fun to have. It's a key lime, actually. And then there's our little rose bush. So that's the side view of it. I hope you enjoy the fairy garden.